Shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get this epistle started, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to our beloved Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, our beloved Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Chakwadash. Double honors as always to the apostles, the elders, and the sense the Ark of Great Millstone, who rule well, who teach well, who we learn the truth from daily, whether you're here for bearing and sincere salutations as always to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. As well as the speckled bird among their number, which are the Hebrews, like foreigners scattered among the heathen that look like the heathen. All right, and for this particular epistle, uh, I'm going with the title through the Spirit and probably how Bashmi al Shah of Why Do We Say Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah? All right, and I'm gonna get a few precepts through the Spirit before I have to head out. And go to the plantation, Salaki. Let me see if I can get something. Uh, the first precept is the book of John, the 14th chapter. All right. And let me see. I'm going to start at verse 1. And it reads This is a red letter, so it's Lord Yahweh Shah speaking, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And it reads Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the Most High believe also in me all right verse 2 in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so i would have told you i go to prepare a place for you all right so this right here is our lord yahweh shah speaking to uh the 12 disciples okay and he was basically letting them know that he's going like once he um once he was to be crucified all right and he returned to the right hand side of the heavenly father he would um return back to his glory he would go to prepare a place for the elect of the nation of israel in the kingdom of heaven all right and the israelites the true biblical hebrew israelites today go by the bywords of the so-called negroes latinos and native americans okay so that's the only nation that the heavenly father is sending his only begotten son back to save okay because this is why you hear in the gospel uh repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand and the only way that you can repent as the apostles and the elders have gotten into a multiple occasions the only way you can repent okay is if you were an israelite in the first place if you were under that first covenant because to repent means to turn back to turn from your wicked ways and turn back to the law statutes and commandments of your how about me out shot and pursuant to the book of uh, psalms the 47th chapter Starting at the 19th verse, the Heavenly Father, he, he has not given his law, statutes, and commandments, nor his service, all right, to um, to any other nation other than the nation of Israel. So the Edomites, the Moabites, the Ammonites, the Philistines, uh, uh, the Egyptians, who else? Okay, the Japhites and the Hamites, it has nothing to do with them, okay? And even the other Shemites, because you got to say that too, you got a lot of, you know, you got a lot of clowns that will listen to a pastor dial and you'll think because somebody's a Hebrew or because they're a Shemite, then that mean, no, it doesn't mean anything, all right? Read the scriptures. Like, actually read the scriptures and don't follow cult of personality, all right? Um, verse 3. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know and the way ye know okay verse 5 thomas saith unto him lord we know not whither thou goest and how can we know the way verse 6 and here's the point yahweh shah saith unto him i am the way and the truth salakia i am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father but by me all right and to do that you have to know the true powerful and mighty names of the heavenly father and his only begotten son okay in the pure language and call on those names in truth and sincerity because you got a lot of jakes all right that know lashua and kadash but they don't call on these names in truth and sincerity okay and i'm speaking from personal experience because before i fully came into the the true understanding of the gospel all right the, the truth I was listening to a page Called uh, We Woke We Woke Now or something like that Yeah We Woke Now 
And the guy, he, he basically was teaching certain things about the Lashua and Kadash, but the spirit wasn't there, all right? Because, <clears throat> Salakia, like you can get in the, you can get this, you can get many accounts in the, in the, in the scriptures, all right? Like, let's just say the book of Judges, for example. Jake knew who they were. Jake was still able to speak to Lashua and Kadash, and Jake was going off. That's how they were going into captivities all throughout the book of Judges. So likewise, those same spirits are back today teaching damnable heresies like chicken is unclean and honey is unclean and uh, King David was a, uh, was a wicked man because he had multiple wives, all types of damnable heresies. So if you call on the true names of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah in truth and sincerity, then the law, statutes, and commandments, there'll be a guide unto your paths. Even if you don't know everything, you know, you don't gotta don't you know don't beat yourself up over not knowing every single intricacy of the law. Everybody can't be Apostle Paul. This is why within the ministry, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah, he set up um he set up apostles, elders, uh true pastors, okay? Not just dudes with the with the title, just just lording over people. All right, actual evangelists that are not just, you know, travel and land and sea to make somebody a proselyte, but then end up making them twofold a child of hell as themselves, like Lord Yahweh Shah said. People that actually teach you the doctrine of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah, this ancient doctrine that is not to be changed or altered. You're not supposed to lean to the right or the left of the law. All right, and following Yahweh Shah in truth and sincerity, that's how you keep, that's how you rehearse the righteous acts pursuant to the book of Judges, the fifth chapter and the 11th verse. As well as where you may fall short because of there's certain aspects about the law you're not even aware of. There's grace for that, okay? Um, and as far as the things that you you know you you mess up on and you go off on, like um, you may have lit a fire on the Sabbath or you may have had to work on the Sabbath, so forth and so on. For those things that you can't help, that's what Yahweh Shah is there for. Also, okay, you pray to Him and you fast. Okay, in truth and sincerity, you pray for forgiveness and understanding. And uh, me personally, what I tend to do. To the best of my ability, you know, I always make sure that I remember to pray that the Lord gives me a, a different situation where I can offend less, as the scriptures also say, uh, offend less. So let me see. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter six. And I'm going to have to wrap it up after this one. Um, Deuteronomy chapter six, starting at verse one. And it reads, well, the, first and foremost, the subheading says, um, the subheading says, obey the most high and prosper. Okay. Now, these are the commandments. Salaki. Now, these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which Yahweh Allah commanded to teach you, that ye might do them in the land whither ye go to possess it. That thou mightest be, Salaki, that thou mightest fear the Lord. Uh, give me one second. That thou mightest fear the Lord. Lock you. All right, so lock you. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 1 in the reason. Now, these are the commandments, the judgments, so like the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which Yahweh Allah commanded to teach you that ye might do them in the land where ye go to possess it. That thou mightest fear Yahweh Allah to keep all his statutes and his commandments which I command thee, thou and thy son and thy son's sons all the days of thy life and that thy days may be prolonged now how does that work how is it just as simple as that because the things that we do outside of the law statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah are are things that will end up offending the heavenly father and then it ends up bringing judgment upon us that's why we went into multiple captivities that's why Jake gets stoned that's why Jake was uh, getting you know burnt you know this is why all types of harsh judgments was carried out because the Lord told you you know, this is the uh, rewards for obedience. This is the rewards for disobedience, so forth and so on. And these laws were never done away with. So Jake's that teach a false doctrine, any any bit of uh, false doctrine. All right. They're wicked unless they repent. If they've been told, hey, look, you're going off and they keep trying to do it. They keep trying to do the same crap for filthy lucre's sake or whatever the reason is, whatever justification you have, there is no justification. All right, because the Lord told us not to change the law, which is why Lord Yahweh Shai said a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. And through the spirit, I'll put that that particular precept in the description box or in the comment section. But uh, reading on um, verse three here, therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee and that it's like and that ye may increase mightily as Yahweh Allah of thy fathers 
hath so like it hath promised thee in the land that flows with milk and honey. Here we go right here, verse four. Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our power is one Lord. So right here, um, Deuteronomy chapter six, verse four, and the Lashwan Kadash on the right hand side, and it reads, Shemai Yasha Allah, Yahweh, Allah Hayanawah, Yahweh, Achad. All right, and that's why um, you've heard. That's why you've heard the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone um, mention that. Okay. Uh, let me get back here. Deuteronomy chapter six, verse five, and the KJV, and it reads, "And thou shalt love Yahweh Allah with all thine heart, which is your mind, that Hebrew word lob, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might." So, with everything that you can do, you know, with, to the best of your ability, the Lord is telling you to love Him with all your heart and all your soul. Okay. He always had mercy on his people. It may have been more stricter under the first covenant, but he still had mercy. You know, for sins that weren't worthy of deletion, he had mercy. And now through Yahweh Shah, sins that are worthy of deletion, you know, the Lord will basically tell you, go and sin no more, all through the spirit. But you have to, you know, if you are truly sincere, that's where um that's where that provision of grace comes in. But you can't, but the Lord's not gonna give that to a damn demon that, that can't take rebuke, all right, that'll justify doing wickedness. Okay, uh, verse six, and these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. Okay, another reason why the, uh, the beloved elder apostle Rachel he gets into the importance of prayer. You know, even but even when you're doing something simple as leaving out and getting in the car and about to go to the plantation, you got to do that, man. You can't just take your uh, safe passage to and from your journey from your how about me out shy for granted. OK, the Lord, if you didn't learn from the people that uh, got caught up in that key bridge situation, then you ain't never going to get it, man. But you can't take that for granted. OK, every bit of um, peace and safety you get from your how about me out shy, even if you're not um, making the money that you would like to make, forget all that. You still got your health. All right, there's most Jake that don't got that. So, you know, whether in sickness or in health, it got to beat the water you how about me out shy. All right, follow Job's example. But this is why we say you how about me out shy because none of us are on the level anymore to, to pray to the Heavenly Father directly. We have to go through you shy because you how shy, um, confessing the name of you how shy, it acknowledges the sin that our entire nation. Uh, the iniquity of our entire nation, the fact that we've sinned against the Heavenly Father, we went off, we broke His covenant. All right. And the Lord simply, you know, he there's precepts letting you know that he's going to return to his place until we acknowledge our wickedness. And under the um, under the first covenant, we had to do animal sacrifice for the forgiveness of certain sins. But the Lord, he's not listening to that anymore because Jake was doing wicked sacrifices. They would premeditate a sin and then sacrifice an animal, so forth and so on. So they were never sincere in their heart about what they were doing. They didn't feel guilt. You know, that's why King David in Psalms 51 speaks about. The sacrifices of the Heavenly Father are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. Okay? And right before that verse, he says, Thou delighteth not in burnt offerings, thou desireth not sacrifice, else I would give it uh, slock it, else I would give it, rough, roughly paraphrasing. And that's why King David said that through the spirit, because Jake uh, eventually started to get real wicked. And you know, they would sacrifice just because it was the thing to do, but they didn't really mean it. Just like a woman who tells you she loves you, but you know she she's thinking about ten other dudes. That's how you how about me? I saw so Israel as a, as a wicked ass adulterous woman because Israel is the wife of the heavenly Father through the Spirit. But uh, that's all I got for right now. I got to get to the plantation. Hopefully, this lesson was edifying to the elected nation of Israel, to the hopeful elected nation of Israel. Once again, I, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to our beloved heavenly Father, only begotten Son, our beloved Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechak, with Dash, double honors as always to the apostles, the elders, and the saints, the Arkham, the great millstone, who rule well, who teach well, who we learn the truth from daily, whether you're here for bearing sincere citations, as always to the hopeful elected nation of Israel, as well as the speckled bird among their number, which are the Hebrews of life, foreigners scattered among the heathen, that look like the heathen, Kwam Yasharala, and the Baba Ball. We almost out of here, out of one, the Zah, and we got next out of Shema, Yasha Allah, Yahweh, Allah, Yahweh, Achad. Shalom.